Hello, Gilson and I. We are very, very privileged and honored to have you in our show. Thank you for accepting our interview, and it's great pleasure to talk to you. How are you? Thank you very much. I am also very pleased to be uh, on your program, and I wish you a very good uh, time. And uh, and I listen also. You have very nice programs. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you so much. Uh, I've already talked about your long and illustrious career, about your concert, as a concert pianist, as an educator. And uh, I'm going to talk about your schedule. What's going on now? I mean, what are you... There are some plans. I know there's a concert tomorrow in Antalya, I believe. Yes. Um, so uh, we have still, uh, of course, with the distance uh, audience and with masks, uh, we have still going on uh, some concerts which are happening. So tomorrow is in Antalya. I am going to play... Uh, for Akut uh, uh, Mozart Piano Concerto number 12 and the day after tomorrow is with Antalya Symphony Orchestra I'm going to play Chopin Piano Concerto number 2 uh, after that I have a recital in Bilkent in Ankara and then there is going to be also a symphony concert in Izmir um, also with Chopin Piano Concerto, this also uh, is going to be in coming weeks. Um, so, and in Surya Opera, I am going to also have a, a recital at the end of the uh, year, and uh, it's, it's going to be with a whole, whole, uh, all uh, Beethoven program. It, it's nice because, you know, I uh, began the year Beethoven, it's a 250th uh, birth celebration year yes. with a recital with his three sonatas in uh, Tureya. And uh, I'm going to finish the year with a again uh, in Tureya Opera in Istanbul with three other different piano sonatas. So it is nice really to be busy able. time for you. And I'm so happy Thank that you, you find time for us in this busy schedule. <laughs> I'm following your Instagram and your Twitters and everything. I know you are very, very busy. And uh, any chance to watch you here in London soon? Well, it was planned, but it is postponed, uh, of course, or like all the uh, yes. concerts in London. But uh, I hope so, yes. Well, I hope we will be... Uh, together and uh, with music uh, in uh, the future it's important to keep healthy now that's true yeah. that's true and uh, yes. as well as being a fantastic pianist and artist you are also great nurturer of young talents and you are really bringing the best out of the young and up-and-coming pianists tell me about your teaching yeah. projects and about your new prospects new prodigies <laughs> Thank you. Uh, well, yes, I am uh, very thankful to all my teachers in the past. You know, I've studied with Nadia Boulanger, with Pierre Sankan, with uh, Monique Haas and Adnan Saigon and Mita Tranman. And I uh, want to give my knowledge to the young generation. It's very important to teach them and to, uh, you know, to bring the uh, my experience and my knowledge to them uh, i have very talented stu uh, students who from all over the world but uh, mainly of course from turkey uh, we have a uh, since 17 years uh, a gümüşlü festival uh, 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 and in this festival there is a also a festival academy and I do uh, since 17 years uh, master classes there every yes. summer and also um, I uh, I mean whenever I can I like to teach young people and I like to uh, yeah to you are being uh, very generous with your time <laughs> Very Thank generous. <laughs> Is there any names, like uh, uh, any uh, future Gilson Önay's out there for you? Oh, well, yeah. there is, of course, uh, uh, many of them. Uh, but very recently, uh, 12 years old Ilion Burkev is really incredibly talented and very, very, uh, how shall I say, 
uh, also very. Uh, I think she is really designed to be a real pianist, and so I'm very happy to work with her. But I have many other also. You know, it is uh, a great pleasure to see the uh, coming uh, wonderful pianists. Yeah. Yes, I, I heard about, I watched uh, some clips of that young lady. She's uh, amazing. Yeah. And she's very really privileged to have you as a tutor also. <laughs> It's, Thank you so much. And you are also doing lots of charity work, I know. I follow you uh, here in London too, in, in Turkey, all yes. over the world. And tell me about the charities you are involved. Uh, well, I am a, a goodwill ambassador from Turkey for uh, UNICEF. Yes. And uh, and I did many concerts for them, but also for other charities, uh, uh, like Akut this time, tomorrow, uh, yes. in Antalya, uh, and, um, and other uh, also uh, charities. And um, as my husband is... Um, you know english and we have a house in uh, cambridge okay uh, we we also do in our house in cambridge some charity concerts every year uh -huh. <laughs> yeah, i sometimes so, i sometimes follow you on instagram and uh, i'm going yeah. to recommend my listeners as well is a uh, Following your Instagram is not just social media, media it's an education absolute education i mean i'm using it for education <laughs> purposes And uh, Thank you. also, uh, sometimes I notice your biggest fans are your parents. Oh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> and yes. it's wonderful Thank scenes you. there. They're watching you sitting by the piano and you're playing for them and you really play with passion and love. It's amazing. Yes. Thank you. You know, I owe them so much. Uh, they are both musicians. My father is a violin player and my, pian and my, my mother is pianist. She both st studied in Stuttgart. Uh, my mother first began to study with uh, Cemal Rishitre in uh, Istanbul, and then uh, after that she went to, to, to Stuttgart, where they met. And uh, so they, they enjoy music very, very much. And in their old age, now they are both uh, 92, they enjoy very much when I play for them. <laughs> are they still uh, like as every parent does are they still criticizing you or do this way do that way or <laughs> do, do <that? laughs> oh yes of course yes, yes. sometimes uh, you know I, i especially ask them because it make it makes me so happy to that they gave their opinion yes. so sometimes they don't i mean they, they don't criticize but they just notice sometimes the changes i do for example when i changed the pedals for the bach partita i was playing my father noticed and he said it's it's very nice i like it better that way or something like this and so i'm that's incredibly great happy. you have you, you have a, like a <laughs> first-hand <laughs> critics in the house, in-house critics, and it's always always yeah. difficult to please parents sometimes. <laughs> Amazing. One other yeah. thing I want to mention, I mean, we, yeah. I love when you play Beethoven, we love when you play Mozart, yeah. but Chopin is kind of, you are in a different world in there. It's, yes. it's I think... <laughs> Uh, I wouldn't call you, I wouldn't like to label you with one composer, but you truly are a Chopin specialist. And tell me about your uh, love with Chopin. Oh, thank you very much. Well, indeed, I feel very much, uh, you know, his musical world, his, uh, uh, his, his, his soul is uh, so, 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 so near, so approach. I, I feel like uh, having a, Uh, I mean, it was like that when I played his his waltz on my uh, first concert at the Istanbul Radio, age six. And uh, I, I then, you know, I don't stop discovering and uh, uh, be having big admiration for each of his uh, notes, and it is wonderful. And I, I play a lot of his work, of course. Yes. In the uh, uh, after tomorrow, I will play his second concerto. I play his first concerto and almost all his piano solo work. Um, 
yeah, I mean, it's, uh, it's, I can express myself through his music. This is very, very it is, wonderful. It is very evident that uh, you lose yourself. And uh, one critic, not critic, but one uh, newspaper has yes. described you. That was, I think, the best description about you. You know, one minute you dazzle us with your virtuosity, you are so fast, and but not missing a note, nothing is played for the sake of it. And next minute you are so delicate, I mean, we are almost reduced to tears. The feeling you give to your fingers and to the keyboard is amazing. And uh, Thank you. also I noticed like some of your, many of your concerts, you don't have a score sheet in front of you, so you know the repertoire by heart. Um, yeah, I have uh, very, very, quite varied and large repertoire, uh, and um, yeah, I could play for thir- 33 hours without score if I Amazing. <laughs> was going to, <laughs> uh, yeah, I, well, it's a long way, you know, I, 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 um, uh, <laughs> I played uh, almost 2,500 concerts so far. Uh, in uh, in eighty countries in five yes. continents. Yes. So it's a long <laughs> yes. way. And does it tie you sometimes? Yeah. Because you have even in this corona days, I mean I'm following you. Your schedule oh. is hectic. Are you not tired or are you enjoying it still? Well uh, actually I really enjoy it very much. And you know, a playing makes me uh, not tired in just the, the contrary. I, I it gives me energy. I, I take energy from uh, the music, from the audience, from the you know, um, and uh, of course I have much less uh, concerts during this corona uh, period, yes. but uh, nevertheless I do a um, uh, quite a lot of recordings also online concerts and uh, digital platforms are uh, asking me for so for different uh, you know occasions so i am very busy playing uh, and i did also myself um, since march the 15th where uh, i was going to you know, go to Poland for a concert. It was uh, everything was locked down, and I, I realized um, that it's going to take time uh, to come back to to you know a real stage. But then I uh, decided to make a, a online concert, and yes. uh, I announced that on the, on Twitter and. Instagram and Facebook and in you know, all, <laughs> it was so 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 popular. The, the first one was what it is indeed <laughs> almost almost a million times. It is indeed. Time. Well, we are yes. we are yes. talking about Gunsi I here, you know. <laughs> <laughs> and then uh, I decided to do uh, every Sunday live concert. So they are also in my YouTube channel. Uh, uh, so every Sunday I played a different program, which means you know I played a really large repertoire from many many different composers. Uh, yes. Uh, you know from Bach to uh, Ravel and Saigon and Bartok. Um, and um, yeah, I had a, a summer break with the festival in Gümüşlük, and then I did a series of. Um, Recordings with uh, also live uh, with students from Adnan Saiklan, which was also very interesting. I had the opportunity to uh, talk to them about our teacher, our mutual teacher, and uh, there were 18 students uh, every Wednesday. Yes, <laughs> and it was very interesting. It's going to to, to be a book now uh, uh, with this. Uh, talks so it's i'm very happy about that um well it's, it's very hard to follow you but i'm doing my best <laughs> because i'm a big fan <laughs> would you when when yes. the hopefully when we're out of this corona situation would you kindly yes. when you were back in england come to our studio and do a live session for us of course oh that's so oh, sweet yeah. that's really that will be that will make our day absolutely and uh yeah. I know you're very, very busy. I'm not going to take too much of your time. We just a couple of more questions. Well, once Elton John uh, quoted, I really enjoyed that. I really liked that. 
He says, I always dress up for my audience. Doesn't matter if it's one person listening or whole Wembley Stadium is listening. I'm always <laughs> dressed. And I noticed you are always immaculately dressed. I mean, who is your stylist? We've got <laughs> you, amazing. Um, thank you so much. Yeah, well, I, I really do that. Indeed, you are right. I mean, I uh, each time I do a recording or, or even, you know, live uh, chats, uh, I... I I am very. I take care uh, for my for my. I mean, outlook. you are also a fashion icon. <laughs> icon, definitely. And uh, <laughs> before you, are you in Antalya right now or in Istanbul? Are you going to travel to Antalya for your concert? Mm. Uh, no, I'm going to travel. I, in fact, I'm going to go in an hour at a time to the airport uh, and, and take the flight to Ankara, uh, Antalya from Ankara. That's yeah. so nice of you to accept <laughs> our invitation. One last question, because yeah. next week, yeah. as I mentioned, you will be our yeah. artist of the week, and uh, we're you. going to play every day, uh, one in the one hour in the morning, one hour at night time. Uh, music of Gülsün Onay. So I had I made my playlist and selections and went through your various albums, but it's a hard yeah. question I know. Is there any kind of slightly favorite album of yours uh, that you think? And I would like to play that one as well. So as your favorite one, I know it's a hard question, because all <laughs> special in their own way. <laughs> well, I think uh, from my last album with Beethoven. I think the, you could take Pathetic, which I like very much. Uh -huh. From my Chopin album, you could take um, uh, anything, I don't know, that, what you like. I mean, it's, uh, then there's Night Music album, uh -huh. uh, where I play Gaspard de la Nuit, I like it very much. And also uh, Moonlight Sonata by Beethoven. Yes. Yes, and of course there are in YouTube several, uh, I don't know if you can use YouTube recordings, uh, if they are good enough uh, for quality. I will, but I will I, find a way, I will find a way. <laughs> yes, there is a Tchaikovsky piano concerto there with uh, uh, Fedor Seyed, which I really like very much okay. as a recording. Mm. And there is also Rahmaninov third piano concerto with Vladimir Ashkenazi that also is uh, one of my favorites. Yes, uh, I get that <laughs> already on my list. So that will help yes. me a lot. So we're not just going Thank to choose you. any album. We're going to uh, choose together with you. Thank you. Gülsün and I, thank, thank you very you. much for your time. And uh, we wish you, you all the success. Uh, we don't say good luck, we say break a leg. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> thank you very much. It was a pleasure. It was a real honor for us. Thank you for joining us. Yeah. Have a safe journey and keep safe and we can't wait to have you back here in London. Thank you. Thank you. Goodbye now.